what's going on everyone it's marcellus back with another video and we have to talk about dogecoin again because elon musk did make another tweet which sent dogecoin to the moon as always but it really didn't go to the moon this it was just this little jump right here and it's because he really just retweeted what saturday night live tweeted here obviously we do have this tweet here that he was talking about on tmz where he said don't put your life savings into dogecoin which is what i tell you all all the time because dogecoin is not 100 stable as you can see he says cryptocurrency is promising but please invest with caution so do not put everything in there all at once and uh so right here what we're looking at is um i'm day trading dogecoin right here so what i'm doing right now is uh I'm waiting for it to hit down right here at this level touchdown right at 58 cents because i do believe it's going to do that because it's been seeming like it has a lot of resistance it does not want to really go up there and we could have some support here at 58 cents because that is kind of where we previously had it at and if we do go down huge right here then yeah it's definitely going to be a big drop well two cents which is not too big of a drop but when you're day trading that's a big drop and that's a good drop to get in on so what i ended up doing was uh I ended up selling right here before uh, he retweeted this tweet right here. This tweet that he retweeted, he just now retweeted it and it, and, you know, it just kind of like went crazy. So when he retweeted it, it starts going up. Dogecoin hits its peak here, starts fluctuating, and everybody knows what FOMO means. But if you don't know what FOMO means, it means fear of missing out. A lot of people see it getting all the way up here at the peak, and then because of FOMO, fear of missing out. They buy at the peak and then the whales usually end up selling and everyone ends up losing. And th that kind of is what happened with Doge Day 420. People started investing right at the peak. And I, what I want everyone to know is that Dogecoin is kind of at this peak right now. So that's why I'm saying tomorrow, May 8th, this is going to be the top of our short term bull run. This is going to be the peak of our short term bull run. So whatever happens on May 8th will be the peak before we have a not a massive dip but a much needed dip like back here this was a much needed dip for us to continue to rise so it went all the way down there just like that it dipped so we could do something else similar and that's why i made the support lines down here we could possibly drop all the way down to 50 cents which wouldn't be too bad and then the worst uh not even the worst but the other option would be 40 cents like i said in my previous video so quite possibly we will be below these levels or on these levels exactly right around after May 8th, not out on May 8th, because on May 8th is when we're going to have a lot of growth and we're probably going to get right back up here to 69 cents. And I'm hoping we get up to 75 cents. But if we have any problems getting up to 75 cents tomorrow, that means that you should probably sell. If you see that Doge is having a lot of resistance, it doesn't want to go over 75 cents, then we probably won't get to a dollar. But if it easily goes over to 75 cents and we're just shooting up 79, 83 cents all the way up, then that means we're going to hit a dollar. But regardless, we all have to decide what we're going to do. And if you are, if you're just, you know, trying to gamble on Dogecoin, then yeah, you definitely want to sell tomorrow at the peak price. But if you want to hold for the long term, that is up to you. What I am doing, I am just going with the flow here. So right now I'm day trading since Doge is kind of moving predictable right now and whenever i can predict the chart i like to at least profit off it so then uh that's just what i'm doing here and i'm waiting for this to go down because this could go up it could go up and follow this trend line but i don't think that it'll do that because it's just not what usually goes on with these trend lines because i've been seeing so many whales selling so there's just so many whales selling so you know that it's going to continue to go down it's going to continue to fluctuate a lot and the more whales sell the more those will fluctuate well probably just now sold yes so we always see these wheels are selling 24 7 so that's why we go down even when elon Musk retweet something probably an original tweet would help instead of just a retweet and if he tweeted something original that would definitely send us to the moon but since he's not doing that right now you know it's going to continue to dip and that's kind of what i'm counting on here so yeah like i said I'm waiting for it to get down to 58 cents before I buy back in and it might or might not but either way I will get back in before tomorrow but yeah this is just what I'm doing right here my little day trades and remember I'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is just what I'm doing another uh, good point to buy back in at 
would be right here around the borderline between 59 cents and 60 cents so yeah about 60 cents 59 cents and then all the way down here at 58 cents would be the area i'm getting in just for the day trade but yeah anything had happened at this point though because those is unpredictable anything can happen anyone can tweet something we could have some dogecoin news that just randomly pops off so yeah anything is really possible at this point but right now we are not trending on twitter so that is something that you have to pay attention to because those usually only rise big whenever it has a good trend and a good trend on twitter is a good trend everywhere same thing with google trends um even though we're not trending on twitter i bet we are probably trending on google which says something for us at least let's go over here and type in dogecoin so yeah even for the past hour we have been trending well probably not as well for the past four hours no not as well and probably not as well for the past day either so yeah we are still trending with doge but tomorrow is going to be like the peak right now because we did have our peak back here may 5th we got all the way up to 69 cents so that was our peak that was a good point to sell should have did that but i wasn't paying attention on that day but look here we did just now break that support line or that resistance line that i was talking about so honestly i might not be able to do this day trade if this resistance line continues to be broken but like we've seen there, it kind of stopped right up there. And it didn't want to go above this point here. It really doesn't want to go above 61 cents at all. So that resistance my line right might just hold strong here. And then we might go down to about 59 cents. That's definitely what I'm hoping for here. But yeah, this Dogecoin chart is kind of predictable. You can kind of predict where it's going next. It happens so much like so often like even if we did break out we probably wouldn't break out over 63 cents at all like you can kind of predict where it's gonna land you know it's not gonna go anywhere below 52 cents because people would just buy because that's a huge dip you know it won't go anywhere above 63 cents because people would just sell because that's a big jump so it's all it's win or lose with this right now that's why i'm day trading it because i might as well since i'm always watching these charts i might as well day trade as i watch it and yeah this is just how we are doing right now for the day but yeah remember i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice and remember if you like this video hit the like button subscribe check out the link in the description for free stock with robin hood and weeble and you can get dogecoin on weeble and remember do not put more than what you're willing to lose into dogecoin and i'll be back with another video